Section 4, Cholangiograms and their interpretation and accessory ducts. Cholangiograms are protective against biliary injury. However, they are protective only when interpreted correctly. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. This section deals with cholangiogram interpretation. Cholangiogram misinterpretation one, only the lower part of the biliary tree is seen. Notice in this cholangiogram that the upper ducts are not seen. This may be misinterpreted to mean that the dye is flowing preferentially downward. However, in reality, this usually means that the common bile duct and not the cystic duct has been cannulated. Do not clip or cut this structure as it is probably the common bile duct. The operative cholangiogram is again shown on the left while the true picture of biliary anatomy is filled in on the right. Here is another example of the same thing. Only the lower part of the biliary tree is seen. Remember, this almost always means that the common bile duct has been cannulated rather than the cystic duct. Cholangiogram misinterpretation two. None of the intrahepatic right ductal system is seen. This may be misinterpreted as poor filling of the right hepatic ducts. However, this usually means that an aberrant right hepatic duct has been cannulated as shown on the next slide. The operative cholangiogram is again shown on the left while the true picture of biliary anatomy is filled in on the right. The excluded duct drains the whole right liver. Cholangiogram is interpretation three. Only part of the intrahepatic right ductal system is seen. In this cholangiogram, the right hepatic ducts seem to fill only partially. This may be misinterpreted as poor filling of right hepatic ducts. However, it often means that a large aberrant right sectional duct has been cannulated as shown on the next slide. The intraoperative cholangiogram is shown again on the left. On the right is the true picture of biliary anatomy. After the cannula is repositioned in the cystic duct, the large sectional hepatic duct is revealed, as shown by the blue arrow. Here is a close-up of the same cholangiogram. Accessory ducts. An accessory duct is an additional or supernumerary duct. An accessory duct can be occluded without interrupting bile flow. For instance, if there were two cystic ducts, entering one gallbladder, then it could be said that one of the ducts was accessory. Accessory ducts are so rare that we do not have a cholangiogram to illustrate a true accessory duct. An accessory duct is shown in the diagram. Note that occlusion of this duct would not obstruct bile flow from any part of the liver. Because accessory ducts are so extremely rare, one should always consider that a zone of great danger is being entered when this diagnosis is being considered. If such a duct is found in the field of dissection and the principles of Cossack should be invoked, do not divide the duct until the anatomy is certain. Halt the dissection, get help, do a cholangiogram, convert or finish the procedure without doing a cholecystectomy. Unfortunately, the commonest situation in which a surgeon states that an accessory duct was seen is when the classical biliary injury has occurred. The common bile duct has been divided and the common hepatic duct is encountered. The common hepatic duct is then considered to be the accessory duct. Using the most safe methods of ductal identification, such as CVS or routine cholangiography, will reduce the chances of this occurring or finding an accessory duct, that is, the common hepatic duct, in this way. Now, finally, for a short but important review. Biliary inflammatory fusion and aberrant right ducts are the principal causes of biliary injury. Elimination of injury due to these causes should reduce biliary injury to a very low level. Eliminate BIF 
and aberrant Abe. Adoption of a culture of safety in cholecystectomy, Cossack, can prevent these two types of injuries. That means remembering and following Cossack principles, which again are putting safety first, using a reliable method of ductal identification, keeping the possibility of aberrant anatomy in mind at all times, recognizing when the dissection is approaching a zone of great danger and halting it before going into the zone, getting help from another surgeon when things are difficult, and if necessary, finishing the operation by a safe method other than cholecystectomy. That's the course. Remember, safety first. The safe way is the best way. Help Orville and Cossack keep Biff and Abe where they belong. Thank you.